Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to our channel, Easy and Amazing. Students, if we see in a surrounding, we will find out different things present in it. For example, we see there are plants, animals, water, minerals, soil, rocks, sunlight, climate, and many other things are present in our surrounding. These things are called as components of ecosystem. What are these called as? These are called as components of ecosystem. All the ecosystems are comprises of two components. One is called as biotic component and second one is abiotic components. What are the two components of ecosystem? Biotic components and abiotic components. Biotic components include plants and animals. Biotic components include plants and animals. While the abiotic components include sunlight, water, air, soil, climate, temperature, moisture, all these things are part of abiotic components. Let's see one by one these. Biotic components are also called as living components. Students, look at the word biotic. The word bio means life. So, wherever you see the word bio, what should come in, in your mind? It means that life. It means that wherever you see the word bio, you must be discussing something related to the life, something related to the living organisms. So, biotic components are the living components. And what are present in biotic components? It has producers, it has consumers and decomposers. Now let's see what are the producers, what are consumers and what are decomposers. Students, plants are called as producers. Who are producers? Plants are called as producers. But do you know why plants are called as producers? Yes, please think about it because we have already discussed this thing in our previous lessons. So, please quickly think about it and write your answer in the comment section that why plants are called as producers. Plants are called as producers because they make their own food. We all know that plants make their own food in the form of glucose and this process is called as photosynthesis. What do plants need to make their food? It needs sunlight, water, air and minerals. And as a result, plants make their own food. That's why we call it producers. During the process of photosynthesis, plants also produce oxygen, which we used for our breathing. Get it? Another example of biotic component is consumer. Who are consumers? Students, animals are called as consumers. Now question arises that why animals are called as consumers? Basically students, animals eat or consume other living things. That's why we call them consumers. These consumers are of three types, herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. Get it? Now, who are herbivores? Students, herbivores are those animals that eat plants. Who are herbivores? Animals that eat plants. Carnivores are those animals that eat herbivores or that eat animal food. Get it? Animal food means like meat, egg, milk, all these things. Who are animals? 
omnivores are those animals or those organisms that eat both plants and animals get it herbivores eat plants like zebra goat cow deer all these things are example of herbivores carnivores eat herbivores for example tiger lion cheetah panda all these are examples of carnivores when well, if we talk about the examples of omnivores the common examples are human beings monkeys gorillas these are the examples of omnivores another example of biotic components is decomposers students decomposers are those organisms that break down dead organism or dead organic material into simpler forms these are also called as detritivores get it for example microorganisms like bacteria viruses and the small insects and worms are the examples of decomposers what they do they break down the dead complex organic substances or material into simpler form let's talk about the abiotic components abiotic components are non living components now look at the words abiotic students here the a means absent and the bio means life it's mean that here we are talking about something that do not have life that are non living things that are non living components get it for example water air sunlight soil temperature humidity all these are abiotic components and we all know that both abiotic and biotic components are important for ecosystem do you know how biotic and abiotic components depend on each other let's take the example of a plant we all know that plant is a biotic component and for the growth of plant what you need you need air you need water you need soil and all these things are abiotic component and in the presence of these abiotic component plants grow and this plant is eaten by other living organisms to get the energy it seems that these biotic components depend upon abiotic component get it as we all know that plants are essential to ecosystem why because they produce food which is eaten by all other organisms and to presume that how living things feed on each other in an ecosystem we draw a food chain what is food chain food chain is a series of organism which depend on the next as a source of food that means students and it is always begins with a producer and we all know that what is producer plants are producers getting a food chain always begins with a producers let's see some examples of food chain you can see in the first example of food chain that mouse eat the corn while this mouse is being eaten by a owl now it's mean that all living things feed off other living things in an ecosystem to get the energy and we have discussed that food chain always begin with the producer and producer makes the food in the presence of sunlight getting okay? now this producer like grass or any plant or any plant food is being eaten by the first consumer that we call as primary consumer then this primary consumer is being eaten by secondary consumer then this consumer is eaten by another living organism that we call as tertiary consumer you can see in the food chain 
first produces getting energy from the sun it makes the food which is being eaten by a grasshopper which is a primary consumer then grasshopper is being eaten by a shoe which is a secondary consumer then this shoe is eaten by an owl that is a tertiary consumer and in this way all living organisms get the energy getting students so now we have discussed about the components of ecosystem that is biotic and abiotic components biotic components are the living component while the abiotic components are non living components i hope there is in any confusion but still if you have any confusion you may ask through the comment section please subscribe to the channel to get the update of all upcoming videos take very good care of yourself see you in the next video allah hafiz